So you want to make a game, but you don't know exactly what to do to get it done. Or you just want to make sure you don't make any common avoidable mistakes before you even start. And you don't want to watch 10 different 2 hour videos on it. Well, you're in luck, because in this video, I will give an overview on indie game development from getting the first idea to publishing it in under 5 minutes. The first thing you're going to need to do is come up with an idea. Easy, right? Well, yes and no. Ideas are easy to come by and you probably already have a few in your head already, but getting an idea for a game isn't just the first idea that pops into your mind. You have to make sure that the idea is reasonable for your team size, budget and time limit and that it's an actually good and interesting game mechanic for your target audience. So firstly, come up with an idea. This can be done by combining different art styles and different game mechanics from two different games. Think the gameplay of Among Us, but in the SCP universe. Feel free to combine different interesting ideas and figure out who your target audience is as this can be useful later. Once you have a good idea that you like and is reasonable, you have to pick an engine. Now this is not as hard as people on reddit make it out to be. It's quite easy actually. If you don't know which engine, just use Unity. I personally prefer Unity and Godot. Unreal if you actually intend on getting a job, Unity if you want to get out asset flip games on Steam like there's not tomorrow, and Godot if you want to be unemployed. Just kidding. Now it's time to start your development. One of the main issues when starting development is not organizing your assets from day 1. And then on day 100 you can't find any script because on day 10 you put it in the sound effects folder at the bottom of your file tree. Seriously, keep track of your files from the start. Don't be a dummy. Trust me, I've learned my lesson. Another thing to keep in mind when starting is to keep your code clean. Follow conventions as much as you can, don't overcomplicate it, but make sure to use the right naming convention at the right time, at the right place. Don't be weird. Make sure to do the game mechanics first, then focus on making everything look pretty. You could spend 10 hours making your gun model and all the animations, but later on, if you figure out you don't like how the animations, models, or textures fit with the rest of your game, you would have wasted 10 hours working for nothing. So make sure you do the mechanics first. Use placeholder textures and simple models. Just to test the game feel and fun. If you like it, you can always make it look pretty later. The last point here is one which a lot of people neglect honestly until it's too late, and I myself have been guilty of this as well, and that is not backing up your projects. Please, please, please back up your projects with GitHub. Just learn the basics over like an hour. I'll even put the link in the description to a good video on it. Watch that, create a repo, commit your changes, and push it. I remember times when I'd worked so long on my project, something would go wrong and I'd lose all my files, and the whole project is messed up. Now we get to actually staying motivated. Staying motivated all depends on your personality traits and your temperament, so I can't speak directly for everybody. But there are a few points that would apply to everyone. Firstly, you should take breaks. I know it can be hard if you're really motivated in the moment, but I promise you, taking a break now, even if you don't really feel like you need it, will help you survive until the end. Remember, this is not a 100 meter sprint, it's a marathon. Also, you don't want to run out of energy midway. Take breaks, fix your posture, drink water, eat properly, take walks, exercise, actually look away from your monitor for 10 minutes, and no, that doesn't mean use your phone, I really mean look away from your monitor. If you feel that sluggishness in your bones that I myself am way too familiar with, right in the middle of a project, no, it's okay to leave the project for now, go work on something more fun for a week. Or don't do any development at all. Just please don't delete your project, you'll regret it when you actually get your motivation back. Also, please ask people to play your game while you're working on it. Ask friends, or if you're a loner Sigma, ask some random people online to play it and critique it. I understand that this is the best game on earth that will make you 10 million dollars and make you famous, okay, I get it, but please go and ask someone to play it. They can see the game from a different perspective than you. I've had a personal experience where I was working on a game, and a friend played it and just didn't like it. I realized that, yeah, it's not that fun. So I stopped. A few weeks later, I worked on a different game because of that, and that game went viral. So you never know what's gonna come. Now it's time to find a publisher. In 99% of cases, you don't necessarily need one, but if you are working on a bigger project and you feel like you need a professional help with it, if you're willing to give up 30 to 50% of your earnings for it and you feel it's gonna pay off, go for it. But in 99% of cases, you don't really need one. And the main takeaway you should have from this video is to just start making games. Think of some fun ideas, combine different existing game mechanics and art styles, download Unity, organize and back up your files, take breaks, and don't impulsively delete your projects when you get bored of it. Ask people to play it and learn to take constructive criticism and use it to make your game the best that it can be. Find a publisher if you think you really need one and if it'll pay off in the end. 
give them a working demo and interesting visuals in your custom written message. Just start making games. If you keep working on them, even if you quit, as long as you come back and keep working, eventually you'll succeed. See ya.